This is Yatuma, a 2017 Prestige 68. She has just a little over a thousand hours. She's a four stateroom, three head plus crew 4-2 that has side-by-side -side berths uh, near the engine room. You have your nice teak hydraulic swim platform. You can either put a tender here or a jet ski. We have both, uh, just depends on which one we wanna take. And everything is up to date and up to speed. We have service records on file and she is managed by a full-time yacht management company currently. Uh, she was just detailed. We keep our tours here. Um, took them off because of the walkthrough video here. Gonna step on board. Midship doors, both port to starboard. As you can see, Teak's in really good shape. We keep everything covered. Um, right now, obviously, I have the covered off for the showing slash video walkthrough uh, that I'm doing currently. Teak table's in really good shape. We do have a flat screen TV out here. We have a aft docking station as well with your bow thruster and joystick. We do have a aft shade which is a big bonus just depending on which way the sun is hitting and keeps you nice and cool. Cameras, we redid all the sound system, underwater lights, AV system, so this boat's completely tricked out and rigged out. So right now you can easily have eight to 10 people here, just depending on the size of the crowd. We have extra chairs, so you can entertain with no problem. Um, let's make our way down. Obviously these are gonna be your controls to your platform here. make our way up to the bow what I like I'm a big guy I like these wide side decks these rails are close enough to where I can just grab I feel nice and safe especially with your kids and you also have railing up here to keep you nice and secure I don't have to turn you know I'm about 6'2 230 and have no problem walking down the side decks at all you do have this bimini top that comes up keeps you nice and shaded and protected so that's a huge bonus with the skylights here in the master stateroom. Um, again, everything's always nice and covered. We like our music, so we have two bazooka speakers in the front, anchor locker, windless controls. Um, we pretty much have everything you're gonna need on this boat and she is very well maintained. I do like this little seat forward here. You can sit down, three to four guests, no problem. A Couple more people really enjoying themselves, so. As you can see the space on the bow, it's very comfortable, it's very spacious. You can put some paddle boards here. We like to enjoy the boat and utilize all the space here as much as possible. You're gonna have your searchlight uh, up there and she is operational. Walking aft, you have your midship door here that's gonna let you into your salon. Right now it's currently locked. Make our way up to the flybridge. As you can see, upholstery is in really good shape. For a 68 foot flybridge boat, it feels nice, it's spacious, it's comfortable. You don't feel crammed. The cushions are nice and soft. I like the soft tones of the colors. It's very elegant, it's nice. You have a nice Samsung flat screen TV. Let me just let you guys pan around. Obviously, hydraulic hardtop. Electric grill here. Fridge. Sorry, that was the ice, make, ice maker. And this is our fridge here. Prep station sink. So obviously this would be your prep station just for drinks, foods, appetizers, whatever the case may be. You have a nice L-shaped seating here. This retracts the other way, so it can kind of open up, give you a nice flow. You have a lot of space here. I like that there wasn't a table here. It just gives you a lot of room just to move around, have a good time. Forward sunbed. The electronics are redundant from what's up here. We have Raymarines up here as well. Obviously your Vol Volvo engine displays, um, JL, JL audio sound system. We have a yacht controller on board. Um, that was an upgrade. So again, we really tricked out this boat and she is up to speed. Teak table, as you can see, is in really good shape. She doesn't need to be revarnished or sand at all. Um, it's really nice. We again, we keep that covered. 
So I love the space up here. Like I said, it's roomy. It's a nice size for a 68-foot boat. It feels a lot bigger. It's elegant. It's classy, and it's been well taken care of. All the non-skids in really good shape here. I'll just do a quick pan all the way aft. Let's make our way to the interior. So here's a good look inside. We opted not to have the table, went with the L-shaped seating here, which we really do enjoy. We love our throw pillows, which you'll see a lot of. I like that the galley is aft. It just gives you a nice flow on one level, gives you more room with the salon forward. And us not opting out, opting out for the table just makes this boat seems a lot bigger and it just flows a lot easier. Again, I like the soft tones of colors. I like this island. We really do use it a lot for drinks food snacks is just easy convenient we do like our alcohol and we do like to enjoy ourselves we have a mele uh convection oven microwave we have a bosch three burner cooktop there's just storage and stuff right now we have our sink it's almost another deep sink here as well so kind of your prep station here Here's our Miele fridge and freezer. And here's our Seisman dishwasher, which we don't use, but she is operational. Uh, we just don't use it. Owner doesn't like to clean dishes on here and the dishwasher do everything by hand. So let me just pan back here and give you guys just a better view. Again, these doors open three-fourths of the way. The blinds are electric, uh, so it is a click of a button and everything goes up and everything goes down. You have Bose surround sound speakers. That was a added upgrade. You have another one there as well. So you have your sofa to starboard, L-shaped seating to port. This is a high-low table. This folds out, turns into a full dining table. So what's nice, again, everything's all on one level, so you can dine out here. You can dine out here <laughs> in here you want to put a removable table you can so you have multiple levels especially if you're a bigger family of just being able to congregate everybody in one area but still be spread out so it's a very 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 well set up and i like what prestige did with that and what the owner opted to do with it himself the current owner now and there's your door access so that either you can go either forward or aft just depending on what you want to do let me just give you a quick pan. The wood floors are in really good shape. I like the colors. Again, the soft tones. Feels nice, feels very roomy, as you can see. Let me just, navigation's off right now, but we have Raymarines here. Uh, sorry, this is our quick uh, chain counter. Sea Keeper control. It's gonna be your Volvo Penta engine display. Give you all your faults, your readings, your joystick, throttle, you have your bow thruster here, uh, your quick bow thruster, Raymarine autopilot, uh, your VHF, um, your ignitions, uh, spread lights. So in terms of equipment, everything is up to date. Everything is up to par. Beautiful captain seat. Feels very comfortable. It's very visible, very visible from seating here. You know, sometimes on European boats, you kind of get that visibility that kind of sucks. Uh, on certain brands of boats but on this one i can see very clearly again i'm a taller guy and uh visibility for me is great so running it from this point you'll have no problem ac controls we usually have the mesh on but uh that's kind of off right now so for all my wine people cabinet storage just however you want to utilize it LG TV, we have direct TV. Again, everything's up to par. Here's our yacht controller. All the way forward is gonna be your master. So you have a nice Island King berth, two whole side windows. Kind of love this seat here. You can kind of just relax, get ready, get some work done here as well. Vanity that comes up. Owner likes to do some work here. Nice size closet as well. 
huge mirror so you can see yourself getting ready. Samsung TV, get an emergency hatch, and you have a skylight. Kind of keep this closed right now. Let me just pan back. Ensuite, you have a nice stand-up rain shower and a handheld over there as well. make our way to the guest staterooms. Here we are heading down to the guest staterooms. Again, she has a four stateroom layout. She break her panel control. You have a lot of systems that are gonna run through that touchscreen system. You can YouTube all that uh, online. Again, you just have more breakers in here as well. This is going to be your VIP stateroom. She is ensuite. And she's a nice size stateroom for being a four stateroom boat on a 68 foot prestige. Nice size mirror here to watch yourself get ready. Let's look at the guest staterooms to starboard. You have side-by-side -side berths that can convert into a full. You have a flat screen TV as well. Nice size closet. This is gonna be your guest's shared head. Again, staterooms are redundant. Side-by-side -side berths that convert into a full. Flat screen TV, you have some cabin storage. And let's make our way to the engine room. It's gonna be crew, but utilizing the storage right now. She's a mess. You have your washer dryer combo that is here you have your head for the crew with shower again utilizing the storage these are Volvo IPS 1200s they be 900 horsepower each your seat keeper all the way forward see she's a pretty clean engine room crew and management company does a Pretty good job of keeping the boat fairly clean. She has around 2,500 hours on her Cummins Gen. 